we were born for greatness. Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw live in Fort Worth, Texas. As we begin the show, as you see Tommaso Ciampa making his way towards the ring. Last week it was announced that he'll be coming out tonight and announce, or explain rather, why he attacked Johnny Gargano from behind back at SummerSlam about two weeks ago. The crowd is not on his side tonight. So there's been a lot of talk on why why Tommaso? Why did you attack your f best friend and Johnny Gargano? You wanna know why? You wanna know why I decided to wait until SummerSlam to do what I did? Especially during Johnny Gargano's beloved moment? You wanna know why? It's because all of you paid attention to Gargano and none of you gave me any attention. None of you paid attention to me. Nobody cared about Tommaso Ciampa. Everybody cared about was Johnny Gargano. That's what everyone cared about. You see, me and Gargano came to WWE, came to NXT as a unit, as a tag team, as best friends. We came to NXT, became tag team champions over there, and then the second we lost the titles, Johnny Gargano gets an opportunity while well, I don't and I'm sitting on the sidelines doing nothing Gargano gets an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with then Cruiserweight Champion Neville He gets an opportunity. He defeats Neville in a submission match And then he gets a title shot at SummerSlam while I'm sitting on the freaking sidelines doing absolutely nothing So while I'm letting all this being just rolled up into a big ball, a big ball of fury that I was planning to unleash. I decided to do it at SummerSlam to make Gargano and all of you realize that this is all about me. This is my moment. And you're all just now living in it. Tommaso Ciampa. Telling the world how he feels, saying that nobody cared about him. That nobody gave Tommaso Ciampa any mind whatsoever. And now we're all living in the moment of Tommaso Ciampa. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight in our main event on Raw, Roman Reigns needs to find a tag team partner by the end of the night to take on Seth Rollins and Tyler Breeze, who are out looking for revenge on the big dog. Later on tonight, Tag Team Main Event. Also, we're going to have Becky Lynch go one-on-one -on -one with Nikki Bella here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Nikki Bella's been building up momentum. If she can get the win tonight, she might be in contention for the Raw Women's Championship. And finally, to begin Monday Night Raw, the first match of the night, we're going to have Aleister Black go one-on-one -on -one with Baron Corbin here live in Fort Worth, Texas on Raw. We have the Lone Wolf, the master of the end of days. The man is looking to bury Alistair Black six deep into the ground with the deep six maneuver. Here comes Baron Corbin. It's been a while since we've seen Baron Corbin on Monday Night Raw. It's been about a couple of months, rather. Baron Corbin's all about being a loner. Been on the down low as of late. But Baron Corbin plans to give Aleister Black his end of days tonight on Raw. Baron Corbin, a former European champion here in Universe Mode, but has yet to win any current championship. Baron Corbin has had opportunities in the past. Once competed against Brock Lesnar for the World Heavyweight Championship at Tribute to the Troops. Once competed against Shawn Michaels at, Sur at Survivor Series last year and SummerSlam. And now tonight, we have to witness the return of the Dutch Destroyer.
as the crowd is on their feet here in Texas. Four man for one night only, in my opinion. For three seconds alone, hit rock bottom. But I'm sure looking to rise up from the darkness. Here comes Alistair Black. The man that, that had an opportunity against The Rock at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship in the main event. Alistair Black was given that opportunity by earning it in a fatal four-way when he was the replacement of Seth Rollins when Seth Rollins got assaulted by Roman Reigns and could not compete for a couple of weeks. Alistair Black tried his best to get that title off The Rock but in the end, The Rock able to, to retain, but Daniel Bryan ended up cashing in on The Rock at SummerSlam. And now, The Rock is no longer a part of WWE. His contract came to an end. The Rock is gone from World Wrestling Entertainment. As Aleister Black, looking to be back. Looking to be focused once again. Looking to get back in that opportunity, in that spot to compete for the WWE Universal Championship looking to start tonight at the expense of the Lone Wolf and Baron Corbin. Alistair Black looking to fade the Black and Corbin here tonight. First matchup of the night. You heard what Tommaso Champ had to say and now it's time for some action. Metal Swing and here we go. Got up a tie up. Side headlock. And I've got him here. Does Corbin he able to take down? Oh, and he does. Alistair Black at, with the wrist lock. And now Black trying to go for a kick. Blocked by Corbin. Kick to the gut. Oh, and a shot to the back. Clubbing blow. That's Baron Corbin now. He able to get his hand. Able to take it down. Alistair Black cover now. Form in the face. But Black able to kick out at one. Big shot to the gut there. Big kick there. Good grief. Kick to the ribs and oh, shot to the face and Black! Like a haluma kick over the top rope goes Corbin and now Black on top! Oh my god! Alistair Black looked to unleash all over Corbin tonight. After knocking him out with that big kick to the outside, elbow drop from the top. And now look at the strength of Black. Got him on his shoulders. Fireman's carry. And oh, wow. Launching Corbin. Body first. Onto the, onto the post. And oh, close, a close line by Corbin. Referee had a count of six, though. Both men need to get back inside the ring for the count of ten. As Black able to get Corbin back inside the ring. Look at Alistair Black on the apron. Springboard. Oh, knee to the skull. Did some damage to the leg of Corbin. The way how he fell on the kick out by Corbin. Alistair Black again. Look at the use tonight as a stepping stone. To be back in that spot of contention for the Universal title cover. Hooks the leg after the kicks and a kick out at one by Corbin again. As Alistair Black. Look at the grab at straws. They're going to do what he can to put down Corbin. Double knees from the top. High rank district flying on the Corbin midsection with the double knees. But Corbin is still in this matchup. Oh, and a neck breaker as well. That neck snap. More vicious than uh, how. Oh, Mr. Perfect would do it. Flying, spinning knee to the face of Corbin. And now Alex the Black again up top. Trying to go for the double foot stomp. But got it the way to Corbin. Over the top, hanging on. Got it, DDT. Flow over DDT by Black. As Corbin. On the apron now. But oh, big form to the face. Corbin back inside the ring. And now Corbin got him deep. Six. Deep, deep, deep. Six. Took down Black. Trying to go for the end of these. But Black able to counter. Off the ropes goes Black. Oh my God. Vicious. Running knee to the skull. 
to the jaw of Corbin. Double foot stop. Count it again. Corbin trying to uh, dodge whatever Alistair Black is dishing out. Got a backslide. That's how you beat Battle in the Fatal 4 when the kick out by Corbin. Here Corbin able to dodge. Oh, missed the kick. Oh, missed the knee rather. Alistair Black missed the knee. Look at Corbin. The strength of Corbin and tossing him across the ring. I mean, for God's sakes, Corbin able to dodge. Oh, wait a minute. Another deep six by Corbin. Corbin dodged the double foot stomp twice by Alistair Black. Able to land the deep six twice. All he needs to do is add end of days. Wait a minute. End of days. End of days. Into the cover. Hooks the line. Down goes Black and a kick out by Black. Alistair Black was almost down for the three count, but able to kick out of the end of days. Seeing that his days have not met its end yet. Going up top now. Alistair Black looking to go for it again, perhaps. Double foot stop, but that time Corbin got out again. Oh, and a big right. A big throat thrust takedown. Alistair Black. Corbin. It doesn't matter how you knock him down. The second you go up top, every time Alistair Black tried to go for the double foot stomp, he would get out the way, does Corbin. And every time Corbin does that, he finds a way to be back in control of the match. Into the cover, form in the face, after working in the neck of Alistair Black, got him in the kick out of two. Black went on the outside, look at Corbin, taunting. Thinking that he has it under control. Oh, high knee by Black. Alistair Black. Springboard knee. And I, oh, oh, God, the vicious strikes. Oh, my God. Elbow, kick after kick, knock down Corbin. Alistair Black saying, there's my target right there. Looking to put him away. That cutter rolls through. Dragon sleeper, but rope break called by the referee. Great position by the referee. Able to see Corbin's foot underneath the ropes. But wait a minute, Corbin. Oh. Was playing possum, knocked down Black with an over, overhead arm drag. Again, Corbin taunting Black once again. And now Black inside the ring, missed the spinning knee. Corbin got him there. End of days! End of days! Could it be? Will it be? Oh! No, it's not enough! God is. Give me flashbacks of Shawn Michaels all over again. How many end of days did it put Shawn Michaels down? And now it's the same thing with Alistair Black tonight. Come with the knee up top now. Moonsault. Moonsault by Black. Is that enough? Hooks the leg. Got him. Alistair Black couldn't hit the double foot stump. So this time he switches it up and uses the moonsault maneuver to put the Put Corbin, Corbin away in this matchup. Double foot stop. Missed. Every time. And then a deep six. Planted by Corbin. Even hit the end of days twice. And Black was still able to kick out. Oh my God. Alistair Black. Looking to be on this path of resurrection. Hey, what the... Finn Balor to the ring! Finn Balor! Oh, detonation kick! What the hell is Balor doing here? Finn Balor attacking Bl Alistair Black for what? And, uh, look at Balor! Sunset flip! But no Black! Oh, fighting through! Able to block the sunset flip! Oh, spinning knee! Alistair Black going up top. This isn't good. Finn Balor now. Up to his feet. Oh, vicious drop kick. The hell is Balor doing out here? Attacking Black. Kick to the gut blocked. Oh, spinning kick there by Balor. Finn Balor. I don't know what's going on. But, oh, oh my God. Taking down Alistair Black. For what we have no idea.
you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll never miss any videos from this channel. Let's go back live on Monday Night Raw. Get ready for some tag team action. Still can't believe that Finn Balor came out and assaulted uh, Alistair Black, attacked him right after Alistair Black had a match with the Lone Wolf and Baron Corbin. I, I, I just want to know what is under, under the... The attack. I just want to know what, what's the meaning of it. But as we move on on Raw, we have Heath Slater and Rhino. We're going to be in action against the Colognes here tonight. Both teams are going to raise their stock in the rankings of the tag team divisions. They're going to get an opportunity one day at the tag team titles. I mean, Heath Slater and Rhino knows, knows what it's about. They know what it's like to be Raw Tag Team Champions. Here in Universe Small, back at the Royal Rumble, winning the Raw Tag Titles from the Revival. But in my opinion, I don't think any tag team on Raw is worthy of facing the Revival at the moment because the Revival, they're on their best, they're at their best point in their careers. Every time they defend their tag titles, they would successfully retain it. If not, and they have a hiccup, one night they lose the titles, they regain the championships the second they get an opportunity to regain the tag team titles back. So, we, I don't know what tag team is in line for the tag team titles right now but hopefully there's a team out there here on Raw that can convince me otherwise that the Revival are in trouble as far as their tag title reign flying form by Slater taking down Epico I mean look at the track record in the Revival I mean they won the tag titles I believe from either the Lucha Dragons or the New Day at Money in the Bank last season and then Held the titles all the way till Survivor Series. Lost it to the Lucha Dragons. Regained it at Night of Champions. Lost the titles to Heath Slater and Rhino at the Royal Rumble. Regained it on a Attitude Era edition of Monday Night Raw. Lost the titles at WrestleMania. Tagged them by Primo. As Epico up top here. Herbert can run on it. Oh, a powerbomb as well. Big tag team move by Epico and Primo. The Colognes. And I look at Primo now. On the apron. Oh, what a slingshot sent on. Tope Atomico onto Heath Slater. Now, Fireman's carry counter by Slater as well. After the revival lost the tag titles to Brothers of Destruction at WrestleMania, they regained it back at Backlash only four weeks later. And now look at Slater. Many weeks later, they regained. The tag team titles, and they have not lost the titles since. The club, Gallows and Anderson, tagged up by Rhino. As Rhino and Slayer, they're going to double team. Primo, back elbow by both men. A big right by Rhino, but blocked there by Primo. The Revival, they they defended the tag titles against the, the club in Gallows and Anderson, the Good Brothers, on two pay-per-views, and they retained the championships. So I need to ask the question, what tag team out there, Primo with a neck breaker, what tag team out there on Raw is capable of defeating the Revival, especially with their next pay-per-view coming up, Extreme Rules. Makes a tag here, does Primo, Epico, back inside the ring. We're going to revisit their old Lost Matadors phase. They would do that double team back body drop on the Rhino. The big man in Rhino, former ECW champion, last ever ECW champion in ECW history. Rhino now, trying to get back in the match with Epico. With that shot to the gut. Now Epico got him here. Rhino's in trouble. Got him up. Oh no. Oh, a brain buster. A brain buster by Rhino. Or on to Rhino by Epico. And now Epico just looking to, to put away Rhino here tonight in this matchup. Watching him throw first onto the top rope. Rhino able to crawl. Here comes Slater with the tag. And now, oh, look at Epico though. Epico running the attack on Slater. Wasting no time at all. Again, they're going to raise their stock in the tag team division to one day be in that spot of contention for the titles. And I'm not trying to put down any tag teams here on Raw. I'm just 
I'm just stating facts that there's not there's not been a tag team that's been able to put down and keep the revival down in the tag team division. Back suplex there by Epico. And I still got him here, but it's time a German suplex. A variation of suplexes here by Epico. And able to transition into a vertical suplex. Back suplex, German suplex, then a vertical normal suplex by Epico. Impressive maneuver, the strength by Epico, but Slater able to take him down, makes a tag, here comes the man beast. And Rhino, the master of the gore. He's got whipped to the corner. In the wrong corner, if you ask me. Epico made the tag. Here comes Primo. Not looking good for Rhino. Double T. Oh, wow. High and low. A leg sweep and a kick to the skull. Would that be enough to put away Slater and Rhino here tonight? Oh, and a kick out of two by Rhino. Epico able to stop Slater at the very last moment. But Primo not able to put away Rhino. As now, Rhino trying to get back. That shot to the face, trying to get back into the spectrum. Rhino now got him here. Bill the belly suplex. And now like a, uh oh, uh oh. Rhino looking to set him up. Looking to set him up. Gore! Gore by Rhino! My God, what a gore spear by Rhino! Cover! But Epico right there to make the save. Slater was taken out by Epico earlier. And now it's it's essentially a handicap match at this point. But Slater, I don't know if Slater's on the apron yet. No, Slater's back on the apron now. As uh, Primo fighting back. Primo now. Herman can run the takedown. And now going up top. Primo looking to put uh, Rhino away. Oh! I don't know if that was a headbutt or not. Big splash. Covered by Primo. Hooks the leg. Gets the win. The Colognes gets another W in their column tonight. Look at this. Vertical suplex by Epico. Then the double team. The high and low kicks. Able to take down Rhino. Boom! Almost got the win there. But then Rhino able to kick out. Rhino with that belly to belly suplex. And then right here, the gore able to take down Primo. But in the end, that big headbutt for what it looked like. A headbutt by Primo able to take down Beauty and the Man Beast tonight here on Raw and Slender and Rhino. Epico and Primo stand tall once again here on Raw. Man, what a tag match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on Monday Night Raw, women's action as Nikki Bella looking to go one on one with Becky Lynch live on Raw next. Oh my. And here we go, wasting little time from one action to the other. Here comes the former Raw Women's Champion. The woman that the crowd is not getting behind tonight. Becky Lynch. For a while now, Becky Lynch is developing different attitude, a different mindset. Here on Monday Night Raw, ever since she had a, a problem with Asuka. Ever since Asuka uh, and her were going at it for the Raw Women's Championship. You know, Becky Lynch has changed in my eyes. Well, tonight... They're going to take on a fearless competitor. Members of the Bella Army on their feet for the former Divas Champion here in Universe Mode. Former Women's Champion for the, since Season 1 in Nikki Bella. Season 1, Nikki Bella was the Women's Champion. Lost the title to her sister Bria at WrestleMania that year. And ever since then, have not held that title. She's been the Divas Champion two seasons ago. But has not been able to uh, get the job done as of late. And now tonight could be your chance to move up in the women's division. Got up a tie up to begin this match. It's Lynch and Nikki Bella. I don't know if this is the first time ever here on Monday Night Raw. 
But either way, it's going to be a good match between the two. And we get a clean break on overtime once again. But Bella, Bella in trouble now. And Becky Lynch got the arm. Able to take down uh, Nikki Bella down to one knee. Did Lynch. I'm sure Becky Lynch has nothing else on her mind but trying to figure out how to get back her Raw Women's title. Another classic, in my opinion, uh, between Asuka and Becky Lynch, where Lynch able to tap out by Asuka in an armbar submission hall at SummerSlam. How fitting. And out. Hammerlock suplex by Becky Lynch, taking down Nikki Bell. And now, big stomp to the arm there. Got her here, front headlock. Nikki Bella, oof. Not looking good at the moment. Becky Lynch is gonna be in control. Got her here off the ropes, but no. Lynch got countered by Beck, uh, by Bella. It's gonna be a tough night. And now, oof. Able to take it down with a dragon screw. That's Nikki Bella now. We're gonna put away Becky Lynch, but Lynch, knee lift. Try to go for a scoop. Be able to counter. Got to here. Neckbreaker planet. I mean, Nikki Bella's been trying and trying and fighting and fighting as much as she can to uh, get an opportunity at the Raw Women's title since ever since coming over to the Red Bryant. For many months, we've seen the likes of Asuka, uh, Sasha Banks at one point, Bailey. We, we've seen Naomi at one point, Lita, all in the women's title picture. Nikki Bella has yet to be in that situation. As Lynch able to duck the clothesline, got it with a pump, with a with a suplex. I thought it was a pump handle suplex, but explosive suplex, take down on Bella, and then attacking the arm as well. And now, able to take down Lynch with an arm drag. Try to go for a DDT, ooh, blocked. Big forearm there by Lynch. Lynch firing up now. Lynch got her up. Oh, man, a javelin stun gun able to take down Be uh, Nikki Bella. And now Becky Lynch off the ropes with the leg drops. Two leg drops for Nikki Bella. And now Lynch on the... Oh, wow. Off the second rope as Be uh, Nikki Bella not even up to her feet receiving a drop kick. While she was on her, while she was on her hands and knees trying to get up to her feet. And now look at this, Becky Lynch got it here. Next Porter. We're gonna put away Nikki Bella early tonight. Again, have nothing on her mind but besides the women's title, this Becky Lynch. But now Nikki Bella got her down, hooks a leg. But well, Lynch is still on this matchup. Nikki Bella able to get a win back at SummerSlam to def uh, by defeating Maurice. And now, tonight, she goes up against Becky Lynch. But Lynch might be able to knock down Na uh, Nikki Bella in the women's division rankings. But no. Bella able to fight through Spine Buster. Spine on the pine there by Bella. And now on the second rope, look at the dive off of it. Drop kick. Turn about fair play. You do a drop kick, I'll do a drop kick. And now Nikki Bella. She feels that she has Becky Lynch right where she wants her. That maybe if she does get a win tonight, it will impress Shane McMahon. Good enough to be involved in the women's title picture. Nasty forearm shot there by Nikki Bella. Big right there. Got her up on her shoulders. The strength of Bella got her face buster. Electric chair face buster. Lynch in trouble. Hooks the leg by Bella on the kick at a one. My God. And now Becky Lynch. It's in trouble. Nikki Bella just feeding off the energy in the crowd here in Fort Worth, Texas. And oh, running kick there by Lynch. Running kick, takes down Bella for a win perhaps. But Bella able to stay alive. Becky Lynch 
Now they're gonna go up the second rope. Oh, a big splash there on the Bella. Into the cover. Is Bella gonna be down for the count? Shoulder up at one. These two are so competitive. Not willing to go down. So easy. Even kicking out at one after big maneuvers. Becky Lynch planning her. Gut first. And I got it here. It's a gurry head kick by Bella. Becky Lynch is in trouble. Nikki Bella might be raising her rankings. Oh! Looking to raise up in the rankings. Hooks the leg. Got her. Nikki Bella standing tall tonight over Becky Lynch. Big win for the fearless one. Running kick, big splash, disarmer, but in the end, the rock attack 2.0. Able to put away Becky Lynch tonight. Oh my God. Nikki Bella standing tall tonight on Monday Night Raw. For the second time in history, the Extreme Rules pay-per-view will be Raw exclusive to the Red Brand. As we're going to have Daniel Bryan versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the Universal Championship and Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns for the United States title. Do not miss Extreme Rules. Next week live on Monday Night Raw, we're going to have Daniel Bryan for the first time since winning the Universal title at SummerSlam will be in action against the recently traded Chad Gable next week on Monday Night Raw. Also, we're going to have Johnny Gargano, the new Cruiserweight Champion, Johnny Wrestling. They're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the man with a plan in the Brian Kendrick. And finally next week on Raw, for the first time ever, we're going to have Mustache Mountain, Tyler Bay, and Trent Seven against Dashwater and Scott Dawson. The revival to open next week's Monday Night Raw, live in Long Island, New York. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Here comes... The fashion police officer in Tyler Breeze. Prince Freddy looking to get payback for what Roman Reigns did last week on the aftermath of SummerSlam where Tyler Breeze got assaulted. He was scheduled to face Seth Rollins last week on Monday Night Raw. But then Roman Reigns took it upon himself to, I would suggest, or... Uh, accused Roman Reigns of assaulting Tyler Breeze right before his match against Seth Rollins and then Roman Reigns stepped in and took on Rollins and then Shane McMahon just with, without hesitation sanctioned the match last week and now tonight with this tag match Roman Reigns has got to find somebody that, that he can get along with tonight in this tag team match the question is who the hell is going to want to team up with the most hated guy in the WWE. Well, here comes Tyler Breeze's tag team partner, the former United States Champion, the Architect. Look at the burn down Fort Worth, Texas, to the ground. The master of the curb stomp. Here comes the former five time WWE World Champion here in Universe Mode. Here comes Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins not looking to end this feud with Roman Reigns just yet. Looking to do what he can. Seth Rollins started all of this. He called out Roman Reigns back on Raw many, many, many weeks ago. Calling him out for a match at SummerSlam. Roman Reigns, though, was the one that made it personal. Attacking Seth Rollins, costing him an opportunity in the Fatal 4-Way for the Universal Championship. And in the match that happened at SummerSlam, 
with a big dog able to reign supreme over the architect. And now after SummerSlam, we have the big dog walking around with the new designed United States Championship. We saw the title debut last week. Roman said that he did not want to hold the same title that Seth Rollins had held, that Seth Rollins quote, desecrated. So he went on and got a new championship belt. Roman Reigns looking to wear that United States title with honor and respect, but I'm sure he does not give a damn about anybody but himself and his family. That, that's all Roman cares about. This is Roman Reigns' first ever mid-card championship in Universe Mode. Never held any other mid-card title that was available here in Universe Mode history. Roman Reigns was always a big-time player. His first championship he held was the WWE, the World Heavyweight Championship, back in Season 2. Able to defeat Booker T for that World Heavyweight title. Went on to lose it to Randy Orton. Went on to beat Randy Orton last season for the Universal Championship. The first ever Universal Champion is right there. The United States Champion, the Big Dog in Roman Reigns. A two-time Universal Champ, now United States Champion. Roman once said before that a title that's not around the waist of Roman Reigns is just something that he's not used to. Who's his tag partner? Who's his... Uh, wow! Out of everybody, Roman Reigns was able to get Elias to be his tag team partner here tonight on Raw. I mean, Elias, he has a, bit of a, a little bit of history with Seth Rollins. Elias debuted in Madison Square Garden, for God's sakes, on Raw many months ago. Debuted and defeated Seth Rollins that same night. And then went on to face Seth Rollins for the United States title at Money in the Bank, who was not successful. We have not seen Elias that much since. Elias managed to return to Raw last week against Bobby Lashley, and he was not successful. Maybe tonight could be Elias' night. We're gonna play his biggest song ever. Yes. The crowd here in Fort Worth, Texas, letting their voices be heard about the big dog. And oh, wait a minute! Tyler Breeze able to knock down Roman with a hurricane right around the bat. And now Breeze now backhand chop, big shot to the face. They're gonna unleash frustration. <laughs> oh man! Trying to unleash uh, some sort of frustration on the Roman Reigns after being assaulted by the big dog, but <laughs> Roman Reigns are going to shut that down real quick. That's Roman now. Just looking to punish Tyler Breeze tonight. Tyler Breeze, don't want to take him lightly. Flying form there by Breeze. Don't want to take Tyler Breeze lightly. Former television champion and former United States champion here in Universe Mode. Don't want to take Tyler Breeze lightly. Makes a tag. Here comes the architect. As wait a minute. Oh, wow. Roman Reigns' face. Got a whole lot of Seth Rollins' boot right there. I'm sure uh, Seth, uh, Roman Reigns is uh, accustomed to that. And now... Snap suplex there by Seth Rollins. And now look at this. On the second rope, Rollins is looking at my Look at Rollins! Oh my god! A Phoenix splash off the second rope while Roman was not even lying down. He was in a seated position and still able to land the move successfully. Roman with that side slam and now able to tag in Elias. Little Money in the Bank rematch here, if you ask me. There's Elias now. Trying to get a hand on, on Seth Rollins. Big shot there. And now Elias has payback on his mind 
on the architect. Oof, big kick there. Another one. And ooh, a shoot on clothesline as well. Elias is going to make it all about him tonight. Dropping the knee onto the side of the face of Rollins. And now Elias going up top. Elias looking to fly on the Rollins here. Oh, wow. I believe that was an elbow drop. Elbow drop there by Elias onto Seth Rollins. And now, oof, nice takedown by Seth. And, ooh, wow. Got him here. Back suplex onto Elias after raking the eyes as well. And now Rollins got him here. So go on there. Face buster. Underhook face buster there by Seth. And now Rollins are going to do something here. Look at the springboard. Oh, slingshot. Tope Atomico there by Seth. That senton. Oh, my God. The crowd here in fourth worth. Now Rollins. High knee. But Elias got the way. Elias dodged the bullet. But Rollins caught him there with a fireman's carry. Crowd chanting F.U. Roman. Good grief. I mean, we're a PG show, ladies and gentlemen. Good grief. You got to be friend, family friendly here, you know. And I got him up. And oh, able to counter DDT to Seth Rollins. Trying to go for a maneuver. Oh, Elias. Ramming him down. Shoulder first. Tyler Breeze got the tag. He was begging for it. And he got the tag. And Sakuri head kick on Elias. Drop kick. Good grief. And now Breeze now. Got his hands on Elias. Got him up. Elias. Dual javelin stun gun. Not a crowd behind Tyler Breeze tonight. Super no. Missed a super kick. Missed a super kick. Got him. No. Lands on his feet. Oh, rotating elbow. A back suplex. Landed on his feet. Dropped him with an elbow. Big right there by Breeze now. Got him here. Back suplex. Spiking him on his neck. Elias made the tag. Here comes the big dog. Full head of steam there. And another one. And a third one by the big dog. The United States champion. We're going to go to work on Breeze. I'm sure Roman Reigns, if any. Is, oh, Superman, no. Block the Superman, punched in Breeze. Tyler Breeze got him here. Pump handle, backbreaker. I guarantee you if Roman Reigns had an opportunity, he would trade the U.S. title for the Universal title. And now Tyler Breeze now got his hands on Roman, but Roman countered. Kick to the gut. So in a big clothesline. Flying clothesline by Roman. Superman punch to follow. Crowd booing the hell out of Roman Reigns tonight. Crowd is just against Roman. Roman does not give a damn about it at all. Trying to go for a maneuver. Got caught. Breeze able to wrestle him down. Attacking the arm. And now Breeze now. Oh, no. Roman. Locked his spear. Good grief. Roman out of nowhere. With a spear on the Breeze. Would that be enough? Hooks the leg. And Rollins got involved and made the save. And now Elias trying to get, in, trying to get involved as well. Rollins trying to get a little bit of a cheap shot. Oh, man. Headbutt by Roman. What do I always say? You never want to get headbutted by a Samoan because they are hard-headed. Roman Reigns. Got, uh oh Roman Reigns. Haven't seen this in a while. Roman Reigns now. Crucifix. Power bomb on the Tyler Breeze. But didn't go for the pin. In the mind of Roman Reigns, I guess he wants to punish Breeze. Trying to go for a bell to belly. Breeze able to counter. Oh, another spear by Roman Reigns. Good grief. Another vicious spear by Roman. But, but Seth Rollins is there to save him. Able to save the matchup again. Crowd booing, crowd chanting. Roman sucks. Big right there. Breeze able to turn him around. But Roman got him downstairs once again. Powerbomb. 
And now makes the tag to Spreeze. Here comes Seth Rollins. Running kick. And another one. Little, little payback from Seth. Rollins is going to unleash on the Roman Reigns. But Reigns up the counter. I think Rollins is trying to go for the buckle bomb. Brad's but Oh, it got countered. A, a, tur a tornado DDT there by Roman Reigns. And now Roman trying to go for a maneuver. Got blocked there by Seth. Seth Rollins hit now. Got, Roll got Roman in the corner. Able to turn him around. This is not good if you're Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins got him up. City. Oh! Able to plant him down. Did Seth. Standing moonsault by the former champion. And now Roman Reigns able to counter. Oh, man. That rocks Seth Rollins. The headbutt. And now Roman got him up. Roman Reigns got set up. We're gonna go for it. The power bomb once again, but did not go for a pin. Roman Reigns wants to punish Seth Rollins. And these guys will go at it again at Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Live in St. Louis for the United States title on the line as Roman Reigns looking to Oh! Spear on the Seth Rollins! Good grief! The distance between Roman and Seth. Full head of steam with a spear. Hooks the, didn't hook the leg. Full in the face. Got him. No. My God. It's like SummerSlam all over again. Every time. You think Rollins is down and out. He keeps getting back up. Roman with that side slam. Taking down Seth. And now. Oof. Knee lift there by Seth Rollins. Uh oh. Rollins looking to fire himself up. Fall him to the face. And another one. Rollins sleep blade. Building momentum. Does the architect. Rollins now. Got Roman in the corner. Got him downstairs. Up top. Buckle bomb. Tyler Breeze is down on the outside. As Seth Rollins might have things in control here. Rollins now. Roman in trouble. Curb stomp. Curb stomp by Seth. Can he go for the cover? And he does. Hooks the leg. But Elias is right there to make the save. And Rollins takes care of Elias. Drop kick. Elias is down and out. Tyler Breeze is back in the match. Sweet vengeance if Tyler Breeze can get the win here over Roman Reigns. Super bottle kick. Super bottle kick for the win. The pin the United States champ kick at it too. Oh my God. And now Roman Reigns. Oh. Shot to the gut there. Superman blocked. Superman punch got blocked. Insiguri head kick. Tyler Breeze. Uh oh. Tyler Breeze looking to go for. Roman not going to like the view. Beauty shot. And he busted him open. He busted him open. On the second rope. Breeze dropping the elbow. Onto the face of Reigns. Tyler Breeze now looking to tag in Seth Rollins. I guess Breeze wants Rollins to get the job done over Roman Reigns tonight. Roman Reigns suffered a beauty shot, busting him open in the process. Up top, Rollins Phoenix Splash! A Phoenix Splash from the top! Rollins single underhook. That underhook face buster. But Roman made the tag. Here comes Elias. Rollins went right outside for a breather perhaps. Back inside the ring. Elias tried to follow, but Rollins. Oh, running knee by Elias. And now Elias 
Feels like he resurrected in this matchup. Running knee again. But that dazed Elias. That running knee. I mean, Elias has suffered a lot in this match. That made him dazed there. Covered by Elias, though. Time has, has it been wasted enough. Two cow and a kick out. Holy. I mean, what a tag match. Oh, well, this is our main event live in Fort Worth, Texas. From Monday Night Raw. Mexico will be live in Long, Long Island, New York. Nassau Coliseum. Gargano returning to action on Raw. Daniel Bryan versus Gable. And more. Rollins. Revolution knee. The ripcord knee. Taking that Elias. Will he get the pin here? Rollins in the center of the ring. Hooks the leg. Down goes Elias. And a kick at it too. Got the arm up. Brett before the referee hit three. Make the tag. Tyler Breeze is in the ring. Breeze on the second rope. Looking to dive. Ooh. Missed the, missed the elbow. Missed the elbow did, did Breeze. But shot the shot though. Both men. Elias. Elias. Looking to drift away. But oh. The line suplex. Elias trying to drift away. Tyler Breeze, but Breeze able to counter. What a match. Counter after counter. Near fall after near fall. Look at Breeze though. Breeze got him here. Single leg busting crab. Elias trying to crawl to the rope. Can he get there in time? But he taps out. Tyler Breeze getting the win for him and Seth Rollins tonight. My God, what a tag team in event. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Good grief. Tyler Breeze getting the job done tonight. Making Elias tap out in this tag team match. Good night, everybody. From Monday Night Raw, live in Fort Worth, Texas, as the architect and the gorgeous one stand tall as we close the show. Man, what a tag match.